Guys, I got an extremely important list today. It's the top 10 reasons on why YouTube is killing your tennis game. Let's get into this one. It's important. Okay, before we get into this list, I have something very important to say. Number one is I love that you're on YouTube wanting to improve your game. I love the power of video to learn how to play tennis. I love so many online instructors. Otherwise, I wouldn't do TennisCon. I believe in it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making my own YouTube videos. Okay, do we understand that? But I want this list to really teach you on why you might be using YouTube the wrong way if you're trying to improve your game. So it's gonna teach you how to basically learn better online. That's the purpose of this video. It's not about bashing YouTube uh, instructors or bashing YouTube as a tool to learn. All right, let's get into this video. Number one, this is so important. No one is searching the correct things to actually improve their game, okay? You're going after things that maybe you don't need right now, like, you might be looking at how to develop the ATP forehand, like Roger Fetter, and that's great, but you might not need that right now. You might need something else that's gonna help you get to that next level faster and that's more realistic for what you need in your matches, okay? Because to develop the ATP forehand, you're gonna have to have so many reps. You're gonna have to be willing to break things down in micro progressions, and it's really tough, and we're gonna talk about this more in this video, to go right from watching a video to the court, even though the video made 100% sense and all the moves are correct, just watch the video and go, okay, now tonight in my match, I'm gonna hit the ATP forehand. You've gotta really be willing to break things down in micro, micro progressions if you want to implement things in your game. All right, number two. Number two, why YouTube is killing your tennis game is you keep chasing shiny objects. And you're chasing very complex things to implement in your game. You know, one day you're looking at how to hit a massive tossman for you. And the next day you're trying to hit a kick serve. The next day you're trying to hit the Alcaraz drop shot. And you're chasing all these shiny objects all over YouTube because YouTube knows that you love tennis. And so they're gonna keep putting tennis videos in front of you. And they're gonna keep putting new cool concepts in front of you. And you're like, yeah, I wanna learn that. Oh, and I wanna learn that too. And I wanna learn that too. And you, what you've got to do, if you really want to get something, you've really got to like quiet your mind, study one thing at a time, one move at a time, and stay focused on one thing for a while. If you keep jumping from one thing to the next thing to the next thing, you know, it's just not going to work. So avoid the temptation of always trying to learn something new every day. Try and learn something new or implement, or implement one new move on your project that you have, whether it's learning a tossman for you, whether it's learning how to hit a, a serve with a continental grip, it's break things down to micro progressions every day on one skill that you're trying to develop rather than chase all these shiny objects all over YouTube every day. That is gonna kill your tennis game. Let's get to reason number three why YouTube is killing your tennis game. Reason number three why YouTube is killing your tennis game is that there's so many great videos out there and I know from people coming to train with me, they might tell me a video that they watched of mine or of another online tennis instructor and they're, they're explaining what they got out of the video and often they misinterpret the information. They take it the wrong way or they don't quite see or understand the move that the instructor is showing them and it gets them more frustrated and, stru and stuck and confused. So that is one of the downsides of YouTube with a video. The, the upside is you can watch a video over and over again. If you didn't hear something the instructor said, then you can rewind it and go back. I mean, on the court too, 
often the students will misinterpret what the teacher is telling them and the teacher didn't catch that they didn't quite get it or they move on to something else and the student still didn't get it. So that happens online and on the court as well. So just know that. You might hear something on YouTube, think you understand it, but sometimes you really don't understand it. So that's why it's also good to work with an instructor at your local courts that can really help navigate you through a lot of this information. Reason number four why YouTube is killing your tennis game is that you're looking for that magic bullet tip. Now, often you can get one tip that just completely changes everything, or you can do a drill. You see a drill online. It certainly happens, but what's gonna work for you more often is showing up consistently. Consistent work is going to beat the magic bullet tips every time. So that's another thing that I don't want you to get too obsessed with is, you know, something working for you one time where you watch a video and then you go out and you play a match and you play so great and then you keep going back and hoping that's gonna happen consistently for you all the time. No, it's about doing the work consistently, doing the right drills, doing micro progressions. That's what this really, that, that's what this video is really trying to teach you and get through to you. So remember that and let's get to reason number five why YouTube is killing your tennis game. Hey, if you're enjoying this top 10 list, there must be something about it you like, so give this video a like. When you give this video a like, you see this guy right here? This is my buddy B2. He would love to give you and reward you with 100 B2 puppy kisses for liking one of my videos, okay? So, like this video, get 100 free B2 puppy kisses from B2, watch him chase this ball. Okay, let's get to reason number five. Reason number five, there he goes. Why YouTube is killing your tennis game is most of you are doubles players out there watching. Okay, if you're over 40 and you play league tennis and you're watching this video, there's a very good chance you play more doubles than singles, but you're trying to learn all these single skills on YouTube thinking that that's gonna be the answer. And what, so you're trying to learn the, the Roger Federer ATP forehand, right? You're trying to hit the big, heavy topspin backhand like Serena Williams or Novak Djokovic. And I think really, if you want to just crush your competition, especially if you're 4.0 player or, or, or lower, what you should really work on is mastering the continental grip, learning how to hit a serve with a continental grip, learning how to hit a chip and charge on the forehand, on the backhand, learning how to master your lobs, okay, and having really, really good technique with that. Here's one thing that's kind of cool is I got to interview Pam Shriver when I did a Grand Slam Call of the Month with Gigi Fernandez. We do it every month. Gigi Fernandez won 17 uh, Grand Slam titles. Pam Shriver won, I don't know how many matches with Martina. I think it was like over 200 matches in a row with Martina. She said during quarantine, her goal was to learn how to hit topspin. Now you might be saying, well, she was an old school player. She was an amazing doubles player. And I guarantee you, if she walked onto your court and play doubles against you with her continental grip, she'd still eat you for breakfast, okay? So really learn that continental grip, learn how to chip, learn how to lob, learn how to volley. This is gonna be the biggest needle movers for you rather than being obsessed with a topspin forehand. I love topspin forehands, they're a lot of fun, but they're not necessarily gonna help you dominate on a doubles court. All right, let's get to reason number six why YouTube is killing your tennis game. Okay guys, my list, they just blend together. Reason number six why YouTube is killing your tennis game. Did you know that the kick serve is one of the most searched tennis terms when it comes to tennis instruction? So many people want to learn how to hit a kick serve. You want to learn how to hit a kick serve, but you haven't even mastered the continental grip yet. Hello, you can't learn a kick serve unless you absolutely feel comfortable with the continental grip. You've got to know 100% for sure that, when, that you have the correct continental grip, that your racket's coming up on edge, only then can you start to learn a kick serve, okay? So make sure that you have the right fundamentals, the basics mastered first, and then you can start to learn advanced concepts like the kick serve, okay? So that's super important. Let's get to reason number seven. Reason number seven why YouTube is killing your tennis game is simple tips help. Okay, they help, but they don't develop your game. 
and especially now it's becoming really really popular especially lots of people now going to Instagram and you'll see a video of like someone going to serve like this and they've got an X and it's like an X and then they switch the right grip and it's got a check mark it's like okay that's a good tip but it's not gonna really develop your tennis game so I think if you really want to use online instruction to develop your tennis game you want to go through courses step-by-step -step courses I think are great if you're just going all over YouTube all the time trying to get this little quick tip and that little quick tip sure they're helpful and sometimes again they're gonna help you play better in a match Remember, we talked about the magic bullet okay but for the most part if you want to develop your game it's much better to go through online courses so find people on YouTube you like their tips get on their email list and then buy some of their courses that really speak to you that you know that you need to improve to get to the next level and then make sure that you just don't watch the courses you go through and you do the drills over and over again and rinse and repeat and have it be part of your daily tennis life that's how you're going to improve let's get to reason number eight reason number eight why YouTube is killing your tennis game again you're skipping so many steps from the video to game day most people when they way they watch YouTube is they watch the video and then they want to use it on game day they want to use it their matches and again what you need to do is you need to develop your game during the week in between your matches you need to be working on micro progressions step by step this weekend I was teaching people how to hit a slice back in and you know what it took me eight months I remember I was I think number two rate ranked in middle states tennis that was New Jersey Pennsylvania and Delaware I was the second best player in that area when I was a junior and but when I was 15 years old I learned how to hit a slice back in approach shot it took me eight months before I could hit it into a match and I was already a really really good player okay but I pretty much came over the ball and came to the net but I had an Australian coach who taught me how to hit a slice approach and so this weekend I didn't care if they actually hit it well all I wanted to see is if it, they could get that first preparation move down and master that that's what's important oh my gosh we're running out of video time we got to get to the next tip now reason number nine why YouTube is killing your tennis game it's information overload okay again that's not YouTube's fault it's not necessarily your fault it's just the way we're built okay we love we love to get that dopamine hit every time we watch a new video we feel good but often we're not actually accomplishing something so again I love the idea of watching YouTube for inspiration I love the idea of watching YouTube to learn something new I've learned so many things on YouTube but don't fall into that rabbit hole of just addiction and watching tennis video after tennis video I'm gonna keep making videos every week okay I'm gonna keep sending emails every week I'm gonna keep selling courses every month it doesn't mean that you've got to watch every single one of my videos but please do it doesn't mean that you have to buy every single one of my courses what you want to do is realize okay what do I need to work on right now search that out find an instructor that you like get on their email list and buy one of their courses and go through that course and just lock everything down lock everything down when you go through that course don't watch any more YouTube videos B2 is barking at people don't watch any more YouTube videos don't go through any more courses like just study one thing for at least 30 days minimum I would suggest three to six months just focus on that one course especially if it's a brand new skill you need to learn okay so since B2 is barking at everybody that passes by and totally embarrassing your beloved online tennis instructor he's gonna to have to hang out with me for the last tip and this is the most important tip right B2 the most important tip here is that you're not verifying what you're learning so you're going to YouTube which is very very powerful again video is very powerful I love YouTube I love YouTube instructors I love making YouTube videos I believe in them but here's what you're not most of you are not willing to do is watch a video maybe you're watching a video on how to learn a new serve move or learning how to add tossman to your forehand or whatever and 
you're going out there and you're practicing, which is better than most people. You're on the ball machine, you're just, just hit a ton of balls. You think that you've improved something, but actually you're doing something that is wrong, okay? And you don't know that because it feels new, it feels different, and you think you might be right because maybe you hit a lot of good shots that day. But what you've got to do is you've got to verify through video. So you've got to video yourself. Watching online videos, super powerful, but what's even more powerful is getting your own tripod, setting up your phone, and videoing your strokes and looking at them to see if they match up with what you're learning. That's how you're going to really improve. Okay, so if you want to really improve to get to the next level, remember what I said. I said what you need to do is you need to get on somebody's email list, you need to start studying one course at a time. I have a course called Serving A to Z. It's gonna teach, if you don't have the uh, Continental Grip mastered, you're gonna love this course. If you'd like to learn how to hit a slice serve, you're gonna love this course. If you wanna learn how to hit a kick serve, you're gonna love this course, but it takes you step by step on how to start implementing, B2, on start, how to start implementing all these skills. So go up in the card section right there and go in down the description box, get on my email list, and we'll get started with serving A to Z. We'll see you guys on the next video.